A third of people in Canada ultimately are going to die of a heart attack or a stroke. We are daring to ask, can we use DNA technology to improve lives? When heart disease runs in families, is it because families share environmental factors, diet, the home environment, or is it because they share the genome? Is there something in their DNA that gets passed on that makes them more susceptible? We start with DNA that comes from a blood sample. We extract it chemically. We then can run it through a DNA sequencer, a highly engineered piece of technology. From that, we extract bioinformatically, and we're focusing in on what we're most interested in, which is heart disease and stroke susceptibility. When a heart attack strikes you, it's actually been building up for years. So a person can live their whole life and not know it. By doing the DNA test early and identifying the person who's susceptible from a young age, this gives us the opportunity to at least offer them preventive intervention strategies to try to then delay or avert the disease later on in life. The applications of this research are multifaceted. So just one example, we developed a method to look at patient susceptibility to heart disease. This method is now under review by the Ontario Ministry of Health for translation into a test that all doctors in Ontario can order. For the students that are working in this era, in this environment, the DNA testing is taking the place of the family history. It's going to tell them whether the patient personally has the risk, not just of heart disease or stroke, but any condition, cancer, schizophrenia, diabetes, the range of medical problems. What's been really inspirational for me to see is the work that we started a couple of decades ago, we're now starting to see it translated into the clinic. The dream is to continue our process of making discoveries at the bench, translating them to the bedside, and improving lives of patients and their families.